Hey, it's Joel. How about another 3DPN quickie? This one, we're going to install new firmware on the Prusa CW1. This is the wash and cure station for the SL1 and other resin 3D printers. New firmware lets you preheat resin. That's super duper important for stuff like this. This is Soraya Tech Blue. And while it's not colored blue, it's an engineering grade resin that needs some heat to perform the best. And so if you can preheat this bottle before you add it to your 3D printer, you will have much better results. The CW1 is flashed just like your Prusa 3D printers. You can use Prusa Slicer to do it. You download a hex file and you just flash the firmware. I went to grab the cable for my Prusa Mark III and it's USB to USB-A. That's not what this requires. This requires a micro USB cable. So as long as you've got USB to micro USB, you can then begin the flash. So let's do that. In Prusa Slicer, I think it's under configuration. I'm gonna go flash printer firmware. It finds it on the serial port. I'm gonna browse to the right hex file. I believe it's right in here. So I'm gonna choose the one that's EN for English. Serial port auto detected because it found it. So now we are ready. I'm gonna hit flash. Uh-oh, flashing failed. Open access is denied. I think this is because I have other slicers. So let's just close those down, shall we? Sometimes other slicers will leave the COM ports open. That's just something that you have to, have to uh, think about. So here, let's try flashing again. And there we go, that was it. We actually had a slicer keeping a COM port open. And look at that, flashing succeeded. Over here on the Prusa CW1, I can check to make sure that the firmware was flashed correctly. I can go to settings, then I can go down to information. And you can see right there, see it says firmware 3.0.0. That's the one we flashed. We are good to go. We can also see at the main menu, there is resin preheat. That's the important one. Let's give it a shot. I'm using a wide angle lens. Just so you know, Sean hates that lens. Here's my Soraya Tech blue resin. I'm gonna open the lid, put that inside. The lid is now closed. I'm gonna select resin preheat and it's gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and then it's gonna heat the chamber. Right now it says 23.6 degrees Celsius. It'll probably get up to between 27 and 30 degrees Celsius. That's fantastic. There were ways around this before in the CW1 where you had to dive a little deeper into a menu. This is great because it is right up front and it's gonna make it a little bit more accessible, a little bit more observable, and I think people might use it a little bit more. If you're resin printing, a lot of those resins do a little bit better to a lot better with some heat. And so something like this is welcome. I think other units are gonna start doing this as well. Do you preheat your resins? I'm really curious. Um, I'm gonna let this heat up. There we go, that's it. It started a 10 minute countdown. It's now at 9.07. Temperatures at 23.9 degrees C. We'll probably go to somewhere between 27 and 30 C. We can always hit preheat again if we need to, but you know, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. This resin does a lot better when it's a little bit warmer. And now that it's, you know, getting to be fall and winter here in the Pacific Northwest, temperatures aren't what they used to be. I've got a really cool project coming up with this blue resin and I've got a heater in my Noir. And so adding that to that means we'll have awesome results. Well, hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for uh, joining us. And uh, I don't know, from a safe distance, high five.